Long ago, the ruler of the Roman Empire sent out a decree to all the land, including where Joseph and Mary lived. It said, A census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All must return to register, each to his own town. So Joseph left his hometown of Nazareth and went to the city of King David, Bethlehem, where his ancestors lived. He took along his pregnant bride-to-be, Mary. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to give birth to her son. This was no ordinary baby, for Mary became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the Savior of the world, was born, and Mary wrapped him up in spare cloths and put him in a manger because their inn had no rooms available. This was how God's Son entered the world. In a nearby field, some shepherds were keeping watch of their flock. In the sky, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around. The shepherds were terrified, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign, you will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had disappeared, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So the shepherds hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the newly born baby who was lying in a manger. After leaving the inn, they spread the word about this child and all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them, that God's son, the promised savior of the world, had been born. Mary heard all these things treasured them in her heart.